first gut and run I ever pulled was a large cargo freighter. Hauling kitchen and cupboard. Food and other goods meant for homes. Fine test for a rook back then. Nothing like feeling the key's belly to earn nods from the old knives. Went knuckle to bone with the freighter's crew straight away. Thought I was just eager to show myself off. Make sure my crew knew I was dangerous, even unarmed. Looking back, I think I just wanted to know that I was taking the prize the fair one's way. Give them a chance to fight for it. But even telling yourself you're winning it from someone is a break on a dark road. Every take was a smile on my face, knowing that I was better, stronger. And quiet moments to feel guilt's reflection were easily shattered when you know the UC is always hunting you. Memory's fault comes through on the exact time, but my career in the fleet took a turn as the UC stepped up its efforts. Not the first or last time they tried to wash the bloody tab. Caught a smile being with the crew whose captain took the challenge to play smart. If every breach and storm was a fight to the dead, might as well make it for the highest takes. And why not take the time to learn all the locks and bolts? Crack the systems that held the treasures, learn the roots between stars that would become the best places to go. I never read so many books in my days as when I was gearing the brain for a heist. <laughs> Soon enough, I found myself just reading whenever time's moments could spare. When my former captain died, I knew my days with the fleet were marching to the cliff's end. I was already considered an old jack o bones scaring the new rooks on the fact that I was still alive. <laughs> Grim's laughing reminder that most of them would make it to my age. Tossing my youth away on gutting haulers for the fleet was one thing, but watching another generation doing the same, knowing where the end was for them, my mind started clocking hours on the point of it all. And that's when the beauty of the Blackest Sea started to catch me for the first time. Humanity's jaunt into the stars could use a friendlier meeting than gun and blade. And who could do better good out there than someone who had seen the darkest edges and lived to tip your ear to the tail? Made too many promises to shine a light on the details, but I cashed out from the fleet. Bought an old hauler and converted it into a flying traveler's inn. Even named it the Jolly Roger as a bit of history's chuckle. We sputtered around the saddle systems as best we could, helping the helpless. A safe harbor for anyone who needed it. Eventually, retired from that as well. Had too much of the past, still needed Barry. Didn't stop Sarah Morgan from finding me, though. In her hunt for one of the historical relics I stole from the UC. Been a part of Constellation ever since. A third life in the making, and one with a mission worth the toil. Paid in full for this little piece of the settled systems to call my own. The pot is starting to boil over back at Constellation with all this work we're doing with the eye, so... This might be the last time I set eyes here for a spell. Don't really know if my faith holds strong to bear its idea of what these artifacts are. But the science seems true. How did I get here? A crimson fleet rock turned old man astronomer, arguing with a physicist about what the stars themselves are. Got a smile on this life. Owe it all to the others that didn't make it to keep going. <laughs>